Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. Today's tech tip, we describe how to run a TGA mass spec experiment. For the discovery mass spec, experiments are called recipes, and today we introduce the bar chart recipe. Creating recipes with the discovery mass spec is a simple process. The first one is the bar chart. The bar chart recipe is basically a scan over a range of masses. The discovery mass spec can scan from mass to charge 1 to mass to charge 300. This recipe is typically used to get a general overview of a sample, especially an unknown. Your software control window looks like this. Create a new recipe or edit an existing one by clicking on the Start Create Edit Recipe button. The dialog box prompts you to either select an existing recipe from the drop-down menu or enter a name for a new recipe. Be sure to select the Create Bar Chart Recipe radio button and click OK. The dialog box now prompts for the lowest and highest mass and the detector setting. Leave the skip on saturation button checked. The accuracy factor is a parameter that determines how accurately the detected signal is differentiated from noise. The higher the factor, the higher the confidence level, but the trade-off is longer cycle times. This is typically not a problem as evolution of gases from the TGA is seldom a very fast process. There is also a checkbox that reads use high electron energy. Checking this box sets the electron energy to 70 electron volts which is essentially the standard of the industry. Unchecking the box sets it to 40 electron volts. Alternatively, the electron voltage can be set manually from 0 to 100 electron volts. Click OK when finished. If the recipe name already exists, a dialog box will once again ask if you would like to overwrite it. Click Yes if that's OK. The next recipe we'll discuss is the peak jump. This recipe is used to detect specific ions with high confidence. For example, if you wanted to know if a sample contained residual toluene, you may set up a peak jump experiment that analyzed only ions associated with toluene. Creating a peak jump recipe is very similar to the bar chart procedure. Again, click on the Start Create Edit Recipe button, choose an existing peak jump recipe, or create a new one. Be sure to choose the Create Peak Jump Radio button. The dialog box looks a bit different but you're going to enter the same information as the bar chart recipe. Enter the mass, choose the detector setting, the accuracy factor, and either leave the high electron energy box checked for 70 electron volts or unchecked for 40 electron volts. To add more masses, simply click on the green circle with the plus sign. To delete masses, click on the red circle with the minus sign. Once again, you'll be prompted to save or overwrite an existing recipe. To run your experiments, choose the main control window and click on Start Automatic Sequence. Choose your recipe name from the drop-down list. The most recent edits will appear at the bottom of the list. Choose a file name for storing your spectrum. The data will be stored in a folder with the recipe name in the Process I Data folder. Be sure to name your file carefully so you can recall it easily. Be sure the Export as Text box is checked and the Film and Enable box is checked. The text file created will be the one that you will use to combine the mass spectral data with the TGA data with the TRIO software. As before, to add recipes, click on the green circle with a plus sign. To delete a recipe, click on the red circle with a minus sign. When you're ready, click on the Begin Automatic Sequence button. The dialog appears below with a waiting for trigger message. The trigger comes from the TGA experiment that you'll program. Please subscribe for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.